We moved into this location in January of 2011 when we started building out our new brewery. Um, after about six, seven months, we were ready to have our canning line roll. So our first beer was done fermenting. First Hetty was going in the cans. That night, the flood came. We get a call at 8.30 at night, maybe, from one of our employees and saying they're evacuating Elm Street. It was like, oh my God. I got a text from John asking, is the, is the restaurant underwater? And I was like, what? And I opened up the basement door and it looked like the floor just continued. It was muddy water. So I shut the door and I walked right over to the bar and I'm standing behind the bar and I could hear my serving tanks in the cooler directly under my feet. Seven barrel tanks that hold 220 gallons bobbing and hitting the floor under me and like literally boom, boom, like I could feel them kind of shaking me. So I poured myself a glass IPA and just gosh, drank it. As I'm finishing my beer, I watched the water creeping across the floor from the basement, and I walked out the front door and locked the door. And then he, you know, called me later. He's like, "Yeah, the, the, the restaurant's gone." Of course, our first instinct was, "We're going to clean this up. We're going to rebuild. We're going to open our pub again as soon as possible. Get everyone their jobs back." That was our focus. When a couple of things happened. Um, First, we found out that none of our flood insurance covered any of our contents. We lost everything in that basement. Every recipe I'd ever written, every brew log I maintained, everything. Our office was down there. Malt storage, food storage, all the compressors, all the equipment, all the brew house equipment, everything was down there. And then further, we found out that new basement construction wouldn't be permitted. No bank would finance us to rebuild a brewery that isn't insured. Within a couple of weeks, they had a very, very uh, tight vision of where they wanted to go. They had the cannery opening up soon after, which was a good thing for them to have in terms of a distraction given the disaster. Their planning created a lot of good luck for them. And we were working all summer to get up and running, and literally, we were ready to start putting beer into cans and that flood happened. And thank God, because if we hadn't had this cannery, we would have been financially devastated, wiped out. We knew we, we had to focus on this um, to keep our head above water. It was an unbelievably emotional week. You know, you see everything you've worked for just destroyed. But our employees, the support that we got from our employees was unbelievable. I have never had this experience in my work life ever. To work for these guys is just absolutely incredible. When your employers care about you, that makes you care about your job even more. We're getting 100% out of everybody. We were also invested in them and they were invested in us, so it was really important for us to stay together and to continue to support one another. It's the best investment a small company can make. And we just turned our full focus here to the cannery and doing what we do and doing it great and trying to get those jobs back. I mean, 26 jobs disappeared one night and now we're back up to like 23. So it's cool. It's a, it's a very satisfying thing. We knew we would get some beer tourism. Um, we also knew we would just get tourists that really didn't know anything about beer were right next to Ben and Jerry's. I don't think we anticipated the numbers of people that would come consistently every week and line up. I never dreamed that we would be making 9,000 barrels a year of one label and selling out within four days of the week. It's pretty wild. Well, our business success, of course, is at the core of our interest. We have a lot of people to provide for and we have our family to provide for. But also right there with it is what we can do for the town that we're in. Uh, aside from the jobs that we provide, we're very much aware of the traffic that we bring into Waterbury. That is a carload of people coming into Vermont and spending money, staying at hotels, going to restaurants, buying and helping the Vermont economy. Their intent, to the best of my knowledge, is to always remain in Waterbury. They've made commitments to Waterbury as, as a place to do business and as a place to support and as a place to be part of that community uh, ever since they moved here. The support we got from the town was amazing. 
That day we put our cans on sale. I mean, the people lined up to buy the beer. It was unbelievable. At the end of that horrible day, to see all the town people, like, oh, they opened that beer. I mean, it was a, it was a powerful thing. And the success of the beer is wonderful, but it's these people that supported us all that time and came to help us, and now we've got them back in the fold as part of the family here at The Alchemist. It was at that moment that it all came back and it was like, wow, we are doing it right.